Hi and welcome to Nary's Laces. Okay, I've been working on a couple little projects here, all the same projects. I'm making um, some banners, small mini banners to put into the store. This is what I'm using, the diamond, di the diamond dies. I am using this size, but I also, this size is also very popular for me. Okay, but this is the one I'm using today. Well, I used, not today, but I used when I was making the banners. Okay, I've been working on it for the past couple of days. Okay. So let me show, let me show, let me show the first one. This one was my first one. And let me see if I, I I'm going to do it this way. Because I'm pretty sure, I think I figured out the, the button on this. I mean, it's such an old camera. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys can see it backwards now. Because <laughs> I think I fixed it, so I don't know. So we'll see. I had I had someone look at the camera, actually. Okay, so this one is my first one that I made. This is my shabby one, okay? Let me just put it this way, just in case. Just, just in case it does come out backwards and I screwed up. I'll do it both ways. How's that? So it's up, if it's, up, it's upside down, I'm so sorry. Okay. So that's the first one I did. This is the back. Okay. Now you see how I I used I I, I used both glues. I used this one and this one here. Okay, the Fabri-Tac and the art glitter. But I'm going to cover this up with another piece of of the seam binding right on top so this way you won't be able to see that. It's, I haven't gotten to that this part yet. Because once I got started, I didn't want to stop. Okay, so now on this one, let me put it back on my side so this way. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me. Okay, what I did was. Okay, this is the fabric that I use. This is um old fabric from way back when. So I'm using, like I said, I'm not buying anything. Anything, anything. I'm going to use what I have and I'm going to see how many things I can create with what I have without buying anything. Let's see how long, long that lasts. This is the trim that I use for the edge. I also used I also used these two. This is the back part. Okay, and this is the front part. So one has so I did this one has both laces, this one only has one. This one has both laces, this has one. So I alternated. So these are the two laces that I use for the back side. This is the trim around here. Okay. I use the little flowers, the porcelain flowers on top, the little bow. And this little flower was a trim that I got from um oh from Elizabeth. What's her store name? I'm trying to think of a store. I bought this a while back when I was looking for a certain lace to do a project for this uh, customer. But I can't remember her name. I know her Liz her Liz Elizabeth. I can't remember her. And these are the Scrabble pieces that I used. Now, what I did was I take... I take... So th this way the paint stays on. And I take the letter and I use my... My sander. And I just do this. So this way the paint or whatever I put around here stays on a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so that's my letter. Here's some more little flowers that I used. This was from, I, I sold this a while back. I don't have any more. I think this is the last, no, actually I it's different because I couldn't find this. I don't have any more. So I pulled this one out. Okay, but I don't have any, I don't have any more of this one. I have a few more of this one. These are the little flowers that I used. And there's one more, this one here that I didn't show. Okay, and that's basically it. That's what I use for the shabby, the shabby one. And then I use um, the little. Oh, here it is, this one here. I use this one here also. And then I use the. I don't have any more of these, that's why I couldn't show that one. And then I put um, the nail art on top. So this is my, this is my shabby. Pretty pretty. Okay, and put this one aside. Oh, and for the ends, all I did was take a bead. Okay, and they're different. This one has a little flower, and this one has pink rhinestones on it. Okay. Okay, so that was the shabby. The next one was the grunge. Okay, so this was the grunge. 
Okay, I'm going to do it this way and I'll do it the other way too. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I'll figure, how long have I been on YouTube now? And I can't figure this. I have the same damn camera, so I don't understand why I can't figure it. Well, the button broke, but it's harder without the button. So I have to try to go through the menu and it's just so hard. Okay, so for the grunge, let's see. This is the fabric. This is the fabric that I use. So that's the fabric you see in between. Too bad you can't really see it, but I have, I'm going to make some other projects with these. Um, but I have left. Okay, these are the flowers that I sold way back. Okay, so I used the gold. I didn't use the gold. I used the pink. Yeah, I used the pink and the gold. I'm sorry. The pink and... The, well, not the pink. It's like a mauve. Okay, and the gold. Okay, this is the lace that I used. Okay, for the side. Now, I, in between here, what I did was I cut. I cut right in between those little dots. And the trim. I don't know if you could see it. There you go. Okay, and that's how I got this little, uh, the little, how do you call it, stripe right there. Okay, I used some of this to add here and here and here. I alternated. And some of this. Now, I got this from when Irina went to, to Japan, when she was in Japan. So, unless you go to Japan, that's how you could find it. Okay, and then for these... Okay, what I did was to darken it to make it a little bit more vintagey or grungy. I used my uh, walnut stain. Okay, and then on top of the flowers, I added these, which I sold way back. Okay, my little mini roses. Okay, and then the word grunge. And same thing. I sanded the corners and I used black. Okay. And of course I changed the seam binding. The seam binding is brown and uh, that maroon color. This is the back. Okay. I, let me see if I can bring it up. And then the, fl the little flower. Again, now some nail art. Okay, that's this one here. And these are all going into the store. I have a few more. Okay, and there's different prices on each one because obviously it's a little bit more work. Okay, the next one was this one here. And this one's a little bit longer because it has more words. But I did this one here. This is my Victorian. Let me move this up a little bit. This one here is my Victorian. Oh, I didn't show the, the beads. This is the beads for this one here. These are both the same. Pretty gold beads. Okay, so this is my Victorian. There you go. My little flowers are all scrunched up. Okay, so that's the Victorian. And this one, this one, oh, my kitty cat wants to play. <laughs> she brought me her toy. <laughs> Where's my Victorian? Where's my Victorian? I just had it. Okay, I have my vintage. Here it is. Okay, so this is my Victorian. This is the fabric that I use for for that one. That's this one here. Look how pretty that is. Okay, that's in that's what's in front. Okay. And then these are the, the laces that I used. I use this one here. And this one here. Okay, for the back and the top. And then ac across the top, I added this blue one. It's pretty blue. And where's that pink one? And then this pink one. Okay. <laughs> How'd you bring that ball upstairs? Okay, and then for the little um, the little cut right here, I did this blue sort of rickrack. Okay, and then the flowers on top, the little flowers. What I did was they were um, this one was from a trim, and all I did was it was tri a trim of blue, yellow, and what I did was I just cut them and put them into different areas. Okay, underneath the pink, under the, underneath this pink one here. I hated this rickrack. 
to bring gold into it. And then, oh, here, look, I'm going to show you. Here's the, I'm going backwards. Here's the trim. Oh, hold on. Okay, these are the flowers that I used, okay, on here. And then what I did was I took the trim. Here's the trim. So what I did was I took um, one yellow and put it on top of here. Or I took two pinks that were together and I put it on here. So this is just basically layering, okay? Just layering. And the, I, these flowers, I sold these a while back. I don't have any more. This is all I have left. These are, these are mine. Okay, so this I'm using stuff. I'm using everything that I have here to make stuff and put it into the store because now it's time to play. Okay, let me see what else. Here's the flower that I used. This was a trim, and all I did was cut and put it in between. Okay, these here are also um, some jewelry pieces that I just put in between. Now, I didn't sew them on, so I might have to go back. And just like sew in between so they don't fall up. But they're glued on. They're glued on pretty good. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to probably sew in between the two ends to make sure they don't fall off. Okay, see? These are the individual ones. Okay. And then I took this trim here and I took out a couple little hearts and I put them one. There's like three of them. One, two, and nope, there's only two. I thought I put a third one. So I only put two. Okay. And then what else? What else did I do? What else did I do? Oh, I put this little heart. If you can see this little heart. Right there. But I think it came out pretty good. Pretty good. Cute. Pretty, pretty. And this is the back. Okay, again. There's, um, there's... I mean, it's, you can't really see it, but it bothers me because I can see the little dot where where the glue goes. So, I'm just starting to turn. So, I am going to put another trim on there. And then, there's three of them that have these tiny little butterflies, which I think they're so cute. Gold. Oh, and on the, the letter, I did the gold, and then I added... Um, uh, this is the sheet, the gold sheet of, uh, you know, the, you have the flakes and then you have the sheet. So I added the sheet. I, don't, I forgot what you call them. I don't know what you call them. But that's what, that's what I did. And I think they came out pretty good. So that's the Victorian. That's the Victorian. And on the ends, I did, I put two of these. Oh, the sun's coming in. I can see it on my table. This is what I put on the ends. Okay, so that's the Victorian. Let me put this where it goes so I don't lose anything because I have to make another one. I'm trying to make two of each, but it's they're so time consuming. So I just had to stop and just show. Now this week I'll finish the other the other ones. Okay, what else? Just one more. One more and the lace and then the pink. Okay. Okay, so this is the Victorian. So we did the shabby, the grunge, and the Victorian. Now I'm gonna do the vintage, which is oops, which is this one here. And I didn't do it too dark because in case oh it's under my feet. Here you go. Okay, I didn't do it too dark because you know whoever gets it they could either grunge it up, just take the um, uh, what do you call it? The vintage, um, the Tim Holtz vintage, and dab it and make it a little bit more grungy. But I left it like this because I thought it was pretty. And if you want it a little bit darker, all you can do is just you know dab it with a little bit of the vintage. I forgot the name of it, but anyway, it always happens. I always forget the names of everything here. Okay, so this one here, this one was a little bit different. This one, and I think it's so pretty the way it is so I took bits and pieces of laces I took bits bits and pieces of a tatting I did some little silver um uh like their their beads I'll show you if I if I have it here I don't know if I this in place, I oh I did okay and there's buttons and there's some bead flowers here 
Okay, so for the corners of this one here, I use this. So I do what I did was I took one little piece and put it this way, and on the other side I did it this way, and I just kept alter alternating on each one. On the bottom here, I used the middle part of this and just went like this. Okay, and that's how I got the bottom part. And as for the tatting, I'm not gonna take them all out because I just use different pieces of the tatting to put in between here. So over here you have the darker, um, the, the tan, the ecru color, and then you got the little beige and just bits and pieces of tatting. Okay. And this little flower here, and this little flower here, and this little flower, nope, this little flower and this little flower. Okay, here. And this one here was a uh, trim that I found in one of my bags. I don't know where it came from. But that's, that's this one here. I'll show you. This one here. I don't know where that came from. It was, it was gifted to me or it came in one of my packages. But I thought it was so pretty. So I added a piece a piece there and a piece in the, on the side. The little flowers in between. It was a trim. You know, this one was another piece of tatting. And I just added almost like a little bow. You know. These were bows from my stash that I sold way back. I don't have any more. I just had a couple pieces left. And I do still have a couple pieces left. I have like maybe five or six left. Okay. And then some tool. And then the beads I sold you know, I sold them on. Okay. But let me show you the, let me show you the beads. This is really cool. This was, the, this was the fabric I used for this one here. For the vintage. And then I used the buttons. See, buttons buttons okay there's like maybe one two two but two buttons there three but two yeah two buttons okay but these are the beads tiny little beads and i was like you know what i'm gonna use it on here i it, it came they came out so cute i love it i love it i like the way it came out okay and then on top of the bow i just added another nail nail art little bow so i think it came out pretty good Okay, let me show you this way just in case like I said I might have did it backwards I don't know it depends how <laughs> it's gonna upload okay and this is the back okay okay and this is the ends just put the silver to match the silver on top so that's my that's my vintage my vintage one I have one more and I love the way this one came out. Let's put that aside. Okay, I don't think it's gonna fit, so let me move this up. Okay. Okay, this one here is my steampunk. Okay, and this is my steampunk. I love the way this one came out. Love, love, love. Okay, so what I did with this one. Okay, I had to get creative here because, okay, I'm, and like I said, I, you know, I'm, I'm more like the country, not the country, I'm more, I, I don't know what style I am, I have no idea, because I, I like it all, but I'm more like the shabby, the country shabby type, I, well, that's my style, I don't know, I, I, I guess that's what I like, but I love everything, I love, you know, shabby and grunge, and I love the Victorian, I love vintage, I love vintage, and I love steampunk. I mean, I, I like it all. I like it all. I mean, that's what happens when you like crafts, right? Okay, so with this one, I did... Okay, this is... Okay, this is the fabric. Okay. That's the fabric that I used on top. So, I was like, okay. So, what can I put on there? Now, I do have, which I'll probably use in my next one that I make... I do have the compass and I have all that stuff and I have the little, um, but I found that afterwards, after I thought of this and then I was like, oh, I have this and it's somewhere and I got to find it. But I do have the little, um, the map, the, um, the little bobbles that we made a long time ago with the, with the little caps, the, the acrylic caps. Well, I have them, which I'll probably use in the, in the next one. Okay. This is the back part. Okay. So this was, um, part of. Uh, die cuts with a view paper. That's how old this is. Okay, that's the back part of this Okay, and as for the lace, this is what I used. This is the black one 
okay, which is in the back side of it. And then I used uh, the navy, if I can get it out, there it is. Then I used the navy on top of the black, okay, and to get these little stripes here, I used this tiny ribbon, which is the brown. Uh, the sun's coming in, so I don't think you could see it. And this is the brown. Okay. And this is my little package of all different size gears. I also have the Tim Holtz um, pen nips. I have, what else did I use? I used, oh, okay. This here <laughs> is this. Okay, and what I did was I put it on the bottom of it, okay, to make this little um, thing stand out more, okay. And then I put the paper on behind it. You'll see when I turn it around, so this way it could stay. Um, I have little, um, the Tim Holtz, um, the watch gears, and I have the, the clock arrows. I don't know what you call them, the arrows. Clock arrows, and not clock arrows, the clock hands. Okay, and then I did, like in between, okay, each one, I did this little bow. And on the bow, and, oh, okay, okay, see how there's a hole right there? Okay, on the bow. I needed to cover that, but I didn't want to also, I didn't want to cut it either because I was afraid I was going to just cut the, the bow in half. Okay, so what I did was, I took... Oh, it's my letter. I have, I had this little thing. I think Maria gave me this back, back when. And I took, uh, it's going to be hard to show, but I'm not going to take it out. But do you see these tiny little gears? This is from a watch. Okay, but I didn't use that one. I used this one. Okay, let's see if I, if I don't spill it. Hold on. Let's see if I could hold it. There we go. I used these tiny little gears to put in between the, the in, in, inside the little hole so the hole wouldn't wouldn't be obvious but that's what I did okay I know call me weird but eh, once you start getting creative you know you don't know what's what you're pulling out right and then I need to put something on the top to match the whole thing okay so I got these Okay, and I put them on top, and it looks so cool. I like it. I like the way it came out. I lo actually, I love it. <laughs> I think it's my favorite one. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna bring it up so this way you guys can take a better look at it. And then I had some a little charm. I had a couple little charms that I added on here. I'll show you right now. Okay, like I had this one here, this little cuckoo clock. Okay. See, and I just added a gear there. I had a couple gears here. And here's another little charm that says love. Let's see if I put it this way. Okay. This one here. Here's the, um, the clock hand. And then a key. And here's uh, another gear. And there's that piece I was telling you about. I, I, it looks so cool. See, and that's the back. So it's, sandwich, it's not going to fall. It's not going to go anywhere. The pen nibs. But I, I think it looks so cute. I like it. I like. I love the way it came out. Okay. And like I said, they, these are for wall hangings, you know. And I'm going to show you. Well, I can't show you now. But at the end of this, uh, the video, what I'll do is I have two on my wall. I have a vintage one. Then I have a jewelry one that I have on, on my walls. Okay. And I'll show you that. But this is how cute. This look how cute. So this is my steampunk. This is my vintage. This is my Victorian. This is my grunge. And I can't put them all in. This is my shabby. You can't really see it. But oh, and at the ends of these, I added these beads. Okay. And that's basically it. But hold on because I'm going to show you. Where's my bag? I'm going to show you. Did my cat take it? Did you take my bag? I think she took my bag. She did. <laughs> Just give me one second. Okay, let's see if I could do this sitting down. I, I normally film standing up. 
Okay, so this is the one I'm doing right now. She did pull. She did pull my <laughs> my bag. Okay, so what I do is I put. Uh, okay, let me show you. So this is same thing that I use for my little eggs that I made. Okay, I use the same thing to cut out my, uh, my little banners. Okay, so what I do is I put two of them together. Okay, and I glue them. Okay, and then I put the fabric on the fabric on top. Okay, and then when I'm done, I'll put the seam binding and then I'll put the the paper this paper on top. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this because I wanted to show one lady asked me on Etsy <laughs> how do I put my banners together? Uh, how do I put the seam binding? So I'm going to show. I know she watches me, so I'm going to show. I'm going to show you how to do it. I mean, okay. So here I go. So I put the fabric on top. Okay. So like I said, I you put the two of them together, or you could do uh, the thick chipboard. I just I I can't go through my uh, my plate with the chip uh, with the thick chipboard because my plate is broken. I I broke it. Okay. So I had to use a thin chipboard. Okay. So what I did was I glued them together. I put the fabric on top. Okay, that's what I did here. Okay, that's all I did. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lace. This is the lace that I'm using. Okay, and I already have, I already have the piece cut out and the word I'm going to use on here. So let's take out my little pink. I'm going to take two of this one here. two pieces here and then I, I didn't cut the piece here but I'll do that in a minute okay and then I have this one here this one here and this is what I'm going to make okay so let me get my oh let me get my scissors just in case and let me get my glue okay I'm gonna use my fabric tack for this one can I put that there? Okay, so what I did was, okay, I put that down there, make sure this is working. Okay, so I put just little dabs, nothing major. You know what, hold on a second, because just in case, just in case. Just in case. Okay, just in case. Okay, and what I did was I put it to where the middle of that little flower. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's my scissors. I'm going to cut that end. Come on. Hello. Like all of a sudden, the scissor doesn't want to work, and these are one of my best scissors, little mini scissors. Love it, love it, love it. So I just messed this up. See, you get on camera, and right away, I'm not even in screen. Hold on a second, let me put my camera up because I can't. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Move everything out of the way. Okay, now... Oh, you know what? I did mess that up. Let's start again. But... Let's see. Did I put it over or under? Yeah, I put it under. Okay. I put it under. Okay, so that's okay. That's okay. Here we go again. I'll dab it here. And I'll make them all the same, right? I don't want to screw up. Okay, I'll put this right on top. See, I can't I can't work sitting down. It's so hard for me to work sitting down. I do everything standing. And it goes so much faster. Okay, there we go. Then I glue it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, not much. Okay, 
and then I put it right there. Okay, right in the middle. Okay. Here we go. And it doesn't matter what comes at the end because you're going to cover that anyway. Okay, same thing. You do the same thing to the other side. Am I on camera? Yeah, I am. Okay. Here we go. I might have to stand because I'm having a real hard time. That's probably why my back hurts so much. Okay, there we go. Do this one here. They're both the same at both ends. Here we go. Okay, because I want the pink to show and the beige to show. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll cut this at the end. And I'll cut this side. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the white. This pretty white. Okay. Make sure which is the right side. Okay, I think it's this side. Okay. So here we go. Put a little bit more glue. able to see the beige and the pink. Okay. Okay, I turn it around and I just cut. There we go. So you see. Can we do the other side? work better standing. This is hard for me sitting down because I can't see. Okay, there we go. Okay, turn it around. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do the pink. Oh, you know what? No, let me do, let me do this little, the little piece on top, which is, let's see, this little piece right here. Okay, it's just basically this. So what I do is I measure it like this. Ay, 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 ay. Measure it here. Right? I'm eyeballing it. Put a little glue. Here we go. There we go. So far, so good. And now we'll do the pink. We'll do the pink. We'll do the same thing. I'll put it at the very end. Okay. I'm going to clean this. Where's my pink towel? Mandy, hold on. Just clean that tip. There. I'll 
which side? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stand stand for this because I can't see. Okay, let's see. So this is twisted. So. So this one is twisted. There we go. Just make sure. There we go. I'm gonna put this one. Leave that extra one and just bring it down a little bit. There we go. More glue on the other side. Okay, this one's fine. There's the little one, the little one goes on top. I'm trying to keep both little ones on top so they look even. And we got this one here. And I'll bring this one up. There we go. That's why I said you won't see the bottom part, so it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. So we have this one done. Okay, let me sit back down. No. I move the camera. Okay, so here we go. I have to do a little bit more glue on this one. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I hope you're watching because this is how um, how I know where the letters go. Okay, so this this one here is ballerina. Okay, so I made I made them all to say ballerina. I'm not going to embellish it here on uh, on camera. I just wanted I wanted to show her how I I did it, and I'm so, I'm still not done because I got to show you how I did the back. But I'm just I'm just showing you. So my word for this banner is ballerina because she wants ballerina. Okay, so I'm gonna take just one. Okay, you take the seam binding. Okay, it depends on how large you want it. Okay, I don't know how long I did this one. I forgot the measurements. But what I do is I take both. Ugh. Hold on. Okay, I gotta st I gotta stand for this. Because it's pretty long, so I gotta stand. Hold, just give me one second, okay? And what I do is I bring both ends, okay, both ends together, and make sure they're even on top. Let me just grab this, okay? So, oh, I'm getting stuck. Okay, so it's right here. I got glue all over my hands and then I pinch it okay so I pinch it I pinch it and it leaves a little mark so you see okay at this point either you could put a little glue dot there's my glue I think as I close it put a little glue dot so it stays together And then what I do is I lay it on my table. See how that has the little mark? Okay, I lay it on my table, but I have it all even. So ballerina has how many letters? Okay, B, A, L, L, E, R, I, N, A. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I do is four on this side, four on this side. Okay, you take the middle one, and that's the one you put in here. But let me make sure that I have, I want to do this in, not that it matters, because I just like to separate the colors. I don't like the colors. This one here, this one here, this one here, this one. Mm, okay. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so four and four. So we're going to take this one. Okay, and this is the one I'm going to glue in the back. I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, just a little glue, nothing major. Okay, and make sure your, your, seam, your seam binding is even. And I'm going to place it right there. Okay. Okay. Now, once you put them all, and then I, this is what I do. Okay, I leave a space here, depending on what I'm going to put here, whether I'm going to put a flower or like a little jewel or something. And then I do like this. Okay. So this way it's all even. Okay. And I just keep doing, doing like that until I have the whole banner, until I have the whole banner glued. Okay, once it's glued, okay, and you have embellished it or whatever, or, or you want to glue it first, I usually embellish it first. I mean, I glue it all, and then I start embellishing. And then I turn it around, and let's see, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use this one, but I'm just going to use this as a, as, a, as a sample. Okay, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cover it like this. So this way you can't see any of the glue. But remember, if you put an embellishment over here, you're going to see the glue behind it also. So what I'm going to do with the other is because I have one that I did, which was the steampunk that I, I covered that one and with no problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of seam binding and let's say, let's say they'll like this. Hold on. Let me just show you. Okay, like this. Okay. And then I have this here. They all have the paper, the little piece of paper, or the fabric, whatever you want to put on it. Okay, I'm just using this as a, as a sample. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of seam binding. Okay, and I'm just going to, because I have glue here. Okay, glue here, glue here, glue here. Okay, I'm going to cover this with the beige. Like this. So you won't be able to see the glue in here. Okay? If that's what you want to do, or you could do it the other way. You could also wait, embellish it, and just put it in here, and then put the paper on top. So you'll have three underneath. So it's up to you the way you want to do it. But this is the way I do it. Okay. So you can't see the glue. The glue. Okay, and that's basically it. So I'm going to work on this. Is my next one. This is for her. Okay. And I'll probably show that later on after she receives it, because I don't want to embellish it here. Okay, and that's basically it. She wanted to learn how to how to do it, and this is how I do it. I mean, there's probably an easier way. There's probably a harder way. I don't know, but this is the way I, I do it. And that's basically it. I hope you like all my little banners. I'll, I will put them in the store, and I will see you in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.